Hello guys, it's me, Nikki. Hello, I mean, hello, it's me, the moon emoji. Hello, hi. Hello guys. Okay, so life has been a little bit of a struggle bus. I've been wanting to film this video for so long now, but then out of nowhere, last week, my tooth decided to literally, quite literally rot, <laughs> ill. So it's been this like entire nightmare with my tooth and then a couple of days ago I got a root canal and then now I'm still in pain, but now the pain has weakened enough for me to finally sit down and film this video because <laughs> this one has been a long time coming and I know you guys have been waiting. The video where I play with the brand new Morphe and Jeffree Star palette. I know there's been a lot of buzz about this. I know people have been waiting to see what I would create with this and I'm gonna say thank you so much. By the way, how are you? How are you doing? If you're watching this video, I'm talking to you, honey. How are you? Because I feel like we don't ask each other enough. How are you? Let me know in the comments down below. Moving on. So I have the Morphe and Jeffree Star eyeshadow palette right here. And I wanted to do a playtime video with this where I just sit down and show you like a, a fun look to do with it. But, there's a but. I say what well, what in the but? You wanna remember, remember? Of course we have seen the iconic imagery where he is male on one side and female on the other. And that totally inspired me to kind of go about this in a different way. So in today's video, I won't be doing just one look. I'll be doing two looks using this palette only. And one side is determined by me, the her side, and the other side is determined by Dylan, my fiance, the his side. So that is what we're doing today. So if you're excited, I'm excited, let's go. All right, so I'm about to break a couple of hearts, I feel like, because you guys love it when I do my foundation and my base on camera. And uh, today is not that video. <laughs> I want today's video to focus on the palette more and like cheeks and lips as opposed to like the whole shebang. So off camera, I'm gonna be doing my foundation, my concealer, my powder, my brows, that stuff. Okay, that very necessary stuff. And I, I'm really excited actually, I should be filming this, but like, I don't know. Um, this is the Oma, Oma. Uma Uoma Beauty Say What Weightless Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. I've been seeing this a lot in the community. So I bought it myself. I really want to try it out. I have their concealer. I bought some other new concealers from Makeup Revolution Pro. Like I have some new powders to try out. So I'm just gonna like take this moment to myself, try these new products, and if it's a total and complete failure, I will not be back. So let's hope this goes well. And after that, we will have some fun with the Morphe and Jeffree Star palette. All right guys, so my full coverage base is on. I'm feeling more and more like myself again. All the powder is on, the brows are on. Now it is time to finally take a plunge into this super fun palette. Before we do that, we have to find out which six colors Dylan chose for the his side of my eye. Hi babe. Please choose six shades for your fiance. <laughs> one. One, which one is that? Lynn, Lynn, okay. Lynn, one. Two. T two, okay. Three. <gasps> yes, three. Four. Oh my god, four. <laughs> um, five. Five, oh, okay. Last one. Six. Really? That one? Because you're mine. 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 Oh my god! Thank you, honey. Thank you. Thanks, thanks so much. So the first essential step, of course, is to prime. Not to prime is a crime. And I am using the P. Louise base in Rumor 01. Little fun fact, I now have a discount code for P. Louise bases. So if you always wanted this base, if you always wanted to take your eyeshadow game to the next level, you now can. If you use discount code Nikki at checkout, you will get some money off, baby. So that means from now on, my symbol system will turn into a little A from affiliate when using the P. Louise base. I think the first color I wanna go in with is what's the T to kind of determine our sort of like feel and shape and I'm feeling a spotlight smoky eye. Picking that color up on a brush and I'm just gonna stamp it on to the outer portion of my lid. Hello pigment, nice to have you back on this channel. Now I do wanna tell you that this is my very first time actually dipping into this palette so I don't know what to expect. I have avoided 
all reviews, to have my own opinion, to not get influenced by others, but <laughs> we're off to a good start, baby. All right, so then I'm gonna take a blending brush and I'm gonna start diffusing that edge. So as long as you just apply very soft pressure when doing these circular motions, the brush will kind of do all the work for you. All right, then also popping that color onto the inner portion of the lid and blending up. And again, I'm just gonna blend out the edges and can we just address that Dylan did so well picking these colors. I, I didn't know what he was like in the mood for and the fun thing is I didn't tell him anything because I was like, I'm not gonna tell him what the challenge is. I'm not gonna tell him what I'm up to. I just casually opened the palette and I was like, go ahead, pick six. And he didn't know what I was planning with it. My man loves his neutrals. Like he loves the neutral glam, so. Now, as part of this collection, Jeffrey and Morphe also came out with brushes. So I'll definitely dip into a few of these to give them a go as well. And I wanna go into this one right now. This is the JS9. And with this, I wanna blend out the darkness. And for that, I wanna use 1985. And I'm just gonna apply this right above what's the T. And what I'm doing is I pick it up on the brush, on the flat side of it, and then I place the brush flat against my skin and all I do is kind of scratch from left to right and this will give a beautiful beautiful blend and M -M -M Mitchell is the one who taught me this oh, this color combo what's the tea blending into 1985 is like a dream okay I'm also gonna take 1985 and brush it into the front of my brow staple Nikki tutorials must for any look if you have hooded eyes, if you have trouble defining the nose, this is gonna pull the entire face together, baby. Okay, then for one of my favorite moments out of this entire palette, and I feel like a lot of people will buy this palette just for this shade, millions. This is insane. Like, I hope it translates onto the eyes as it does in the pan, because if it does, oh my God, it's over. Okay, I'm picking some up on my finger, and I'm just gonna tap it on. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, stop it. Oh! All right, so Dylan did add a bit of dog mom into the mixture, so I wanna pop that onto the inner corners as well as kind of take that shine further up into the brow bone. So I'm just taking it and kind of stamping it on where millions stops to kind of keep it going. Ooh, see? So now you're kind of dragging that highlight area up to the brow and it gives you that sort of wet feel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so before I started doing this video, I was like, mm, I feel like my side is gonna be a lot more fun than Dylan's choices, but now I am starting to question everything in life because this is looking good. Oh. Stop it. Oh my God, shut up. All right, so the colors we still have to dip into are Lynn and Mai. And other than that, I feel like we have, yep, we got all of the colors. Let's smoke out that lower lash line using What's the Tea? Taking a bit of Mai to smoky smoke that out right underneath. And last but not least, I'm just gonna take Lynn and kind of feather out the edges around the look that I just created to give it an optimal, sort of like perfect blend. I'm gonna use it kind of like a, a magical eraser. All right, I'm gonna pop some lashes on, play with a couple of liners inside of my waterline, and then I will be back for my side, the her side. And that, guys, is the his side completed. Now, I think Dylan chose some very strong, amazing colors together. And since we're moving on to the my side, the her side now, which will be a lot more colorful, I feel like this will show you more sides to one palette. I feel like I should adapt this theory when when it comes to reviewing palettes more in the future because this way we get to see a lot of colors from one palette in one look so uh mm, i'm proud time for some color and now of course the first step you want to do as always is optimus prime p louise face i mean you know what color i'm gonna go in with first right it's the pink and the pink color is called self-made and guys i've been wanting to do a cut crease 
like full on crazy glamour for so long now. I haven't been wearing makeup that much lately and I'm like so in the mood to like cut it, add rhinestones, bring all the drama to my her side of the face. So you better get ready. And then I definitely wanna wing it out quite a bit. So don't be afraid and drag that baby out. And then just like always, once you have the shape, now you're gonna take the brush and apply super, super light pressure to the edge and create those soft circular motions. Now I'm dipping into this coral peachy orangey color right here called Honest Truth. And this is going on the inside of the crease. So this is sort of the gradation that we're gonna, oh yes. This is also going into the front of my brow. You know the jig. Okay, Honest Truth is one of my favorite colors of the palette already. Do you see? It's like the perfect true peach. Okay, now I wanna soften that pink a bit more. So I'm going in with like, um, I'm going in with back. This one, back. This is gonna be my blending color. You guess it, now I'm gonna cut my lid and also wing it out. We're going for that drama. I'm like looking for a wing to like take me away from Earth. And after that, I am going to set that entirely using two. I told you. It's been a very neutral lifestyle lately, so I wanna spice it up. We're doing liner, okay? Time for liner. So I think what I wanna do is dip into Mogul, right here, Mogul, and I want this like triple liner going on, so one, two, then we need number three. Ooh, this is a good smoky lower lash line brush. This is the JS12. I'm back in with Self Made and kind of continuing that mood. Now taking Honest Truth and continuing like we did on the top. This is one of those looks that look like total trash until you put the lashes on. So I am gonna do just that pop some lashes on, and then also, like I did here, do some individual ones on the bottom. These are by Mama Mitchell, where are you? So I'm just gonna pop a few of these under lashes on by Tati Lashes in collaboration with Mitchell, and uh, watch me as soon as the lashes are on. We are killing it. So I'll be right back. Oh my God, I told you lashes and a little bit of sequins, a little bit of diamonds will really kick up this look. And huh, final step for this eye look on the her side is go in with highlighter for the inner corner. I'm going in with this color here called Welcome. This is going right here on that inner corner to catch some light. Well, you look at that, a triple liner dramatic goodness. Okay, the eyes are done, and I must say, I am really, really happy with the outcome. I think this shows you that you can do neutral glam with it or colorful glam, like, it's a good makeup day, baby. Now it's time for the cheeks. I'm just gonna go ahead and bronze and do like the basic stuff. I think both the his side and the her side deserve a whole lot more warmth on the cheeks, so let's do that. <laughs> Blush is the way to go. All right, then it's time for highlighter and I'm dipping into one of my favorites that I myself created with Ofra Cosmetics. This is Space Baby and in the pan you're like, what, what's happening? But this has a blue purple shift. It is totally out of this world. I love it so much and I feel like this color is kind of slept on so I'm here to bring it back to life. Oh, do you see that? Oh my God, so on camera it is stunning, but let me tell you in real life, it is like an alien from Area 51 came over and was like, here, bless you. <laughs> and with the pinks and the purples, this is perfection. Ugh. And then on Dylan's side of the face, I'm just using this stunning one by MAC. This is an extra dimension skin finish in Double Gleam, one of my other favorites. Oh yes, mm-hmm. 
And then for lips, Dylan said that for his side, he just wanted what I usually wear, and that is lined, nude, glossy lips. But he did say that he wanted them a little bit darker, so his wish, his wish. <laughs> so his wish is my command. On Dylan's side, his side, and going in with this Doll Beauty Doll Lips lipstick in Get Lippy. I've been loving these. These are so good. And then for my side, I was thinking something a bit more corally, like, ooh. Now I'm gonna top it off with a little bit of gloss. This is by Marc Jacobs. Babe, is this the lip you wanted? Perfect. Oh. And there we have it, Dylan's side and my side. And now the question of the video is, which side do you prefer, his or her? My side. Okay, you're biased, leave, bye. I think this palette is absolutely stunning. I mean, they keep coming out with more because now they came out with lip products. I don't have those, so don't hate me. I mean, if these colors are your jam, absolutely go ahead and order this baby. You can use discount code Nikki at checkout if you wanna save some money on all Morphe that is online, plus in all, all of their stores, which there are a lot of right now. And without any further ado, now let's go on to the Dutch word of the day, it's back. <laughs> So today my fiance, Dylan, picked what colors I have to wear on his side. So today's Dutch word of the day is for fiance. Verloofde. Ver, loof, de. My verloofde picks my makeup. <laughs> As always, if you want to be featured in my next video, all you have to do is leave a comment down below featuring the Dutch word of the day, verloofde, or leave a video response on Instagram under the hashtag Dutch word of the day. I want to thank you so, so, so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, and definitely give this video a thumbs up if you want me to do more his and hers type of reviews on new launches. I, I had so much fun with this. So uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I love you, and hopefully, I will see you guys on the next one.